guys so welcome back to my channel i hope you're as happy to be here as i am because i am so excited <laughs> so excited right now i have all my makeup and stuff down here with me okay guys so today is going to be a unicorn makeup tutorial i am not a beauty guru by any means <laughs> but i i do love doing makeup and yes okay guys so let's get started Alright guys, so here I'm going to start out with BB cream. I got this at the dollar store. I chose not to use foundation for this because I kind of just wanted a light coverage. Um, still covering any blemishes and uneven skin so that you still look good. But a very light coverage because you are wearing a wig and a lot of eye makeup. So I didn't really want to go heavy on the foundation, especially for this kind of tutorial. Because um, I wanted this to be a very affordable tutorial. This is only a dollar at Dollar Tree. You can get a beauty blender there as well. So that's only $2 just for your face makeup. Which is extremely, extremely affordable. So, yes. This was definitely the best way for me to go. Especially with the foundation portion. Okay, now that beauty cream's all done, I'm going to add a little bit of the e.l.f. concealer. You can get this at Walmart. It's like 2 or $3. Yes, it's way darker than the BB cream, but this is basically just to cover up a little bit of blemishes that I have. Um, I have very an uneven skin tone, so I have a lot of problem with that. Um, but you'll see that in the later, the next portion of the video, I go back in over it with the BB cream for extra coverage. So basically that concealer was just an extra layer to cover up blemishes. So I do recommend that. Or you can just use, a, if you're using foundation, you can just use your concealer. You won't have to go back over it. So just depends on how you're doing it. I just kind of wanted the really cheap, easy, dewy finish. So and here you see I'm going back in with the BB cream. Okay, now that the base foundation or BB cream or primer, whichever one that you choose to use, whether you're using any or not, um, now that that's done, I'm going to go in, I'm going to use this little palette that I got. I actually got this for $2 at Five Below, which is very affordable. So if you're looking for affordable ways to do your makeup for Halloween, this is definitely one. I love this bright palette. I've used it before in my St. Patrick's Day video. So go check that out if you're interested in other costume ideas because you could always be like a crazy St. Patrick's Day thing for Halloween. It works. <laughs> um, right now, I'm just going in with a white base coat, layering that on for the shadows. Um, and then I do go in with the bolder pink, purple, blue, and gold. So you're going to see that coming up. Um, and it, I'm warning you, they're very, very bright. And it looks like I put them on very heavily. But there's a purpose to that because I have a very good blending brush, which I do recommend because it makes everything look so much better. Um, and I actually do show you, once I get everything applied, the difference between blended and not blended. So just watch for that and it makes a big difference. I got mine through Ipsy, which is just like a little $10 product, $10 a month um, beauty subscription. And I love it. And I got that through Ipsy. It's a, I think it's a MAC brush, but I know you can get them at Walmart pretty cheap. So, yeah, just continue watching to see how I do the eyeshadow.
Okay, so here I'm taking this little uh, eyeshadow that I got. Sorry, I had to look at my cat. <laughs> uh, I got this at Five Below again for a dollar. I get pretty much all my makeup at Five Below or Dollar Tree or Walmart. It's just so much cheaper. And I'm just using this little, it's supposed to be an eyeliner brush for like liquid eyeliner, but I don't use liquid eyeliner, so... Um, I'm using it for this really creamy glitter eyeshadow, and I think it just really makes this look pop. It makes it very, like, sparkly unicorn-y. So, it definitely is amazing. It's very creamy, and it goes on very thick. <laughs> and it comes off very thick. <laughs> so, I do give you a little bit of a warning on that, that if you don't like a heavy eyeliner, I recommend something else. The Wet n' Wild Silver that I'm putting on right now, which is what that is. I'm pretty sure you can do Dollar Tree, too. Um, it goes on very heavy, and it's very creamy. <laughs> so, yeah, I do want to give a little bit of a warning on that, but it goes on super cute. I loved it, so. Okay, so now I'm going to put on a little bit of bronzer and kind of give a little bit of a contour. I didn't do too much of a contour here, just because, you know, I'm trying to do the cheaper end of it, and contour products are not cheap, so I'm just using some little, like, cheap cover girl palette basically the little bronzers just a little bit here and there and then like a dollar tree brush um and then I do put on a little bit of blush too probably way more than I normally would have but for like a unicorn bright happy um costume I chose to do it a little brighter like look at my face I was like oh crap okay well <laughs> I did kind of use my fingers a little bit because I wasn't blending too well with the brush so I did go a little bolder than I wanted to but I think it turned out pretty good for the costume so now I'm gonna go in and do the lips I also got this through Ipsy um you can get these really cheap at Walmart or Dollar Tree just lip pencils I prefer these and then I just put a cute little gloss over the top so just keep watching to see that finished look Okay, like I mentioned before, I'm not a beauty guru. <laughs> I'm not very good at doing falsies. If I could do falsies, I would totally do false lashes with this look. It would make it pop so much better, but I have long lashes in general, so I just really, really apply mascara, and it pretty much gives me the falsy look without having to deal with false lashes. Um, it's not that I don't like them, it's just I don't know how to put them on, to be 100% honest. I don't have the patience for it. So... Uh, I definitely recommend doing falsies with this look. I think it would make it so much better, but I think it's still cute without them. So, getting some glamour shots and they're like, hey girl, what's up? So, so now I'm just going to put the wig on. So, here we go. This is, gonna, this is how I'm ending my look. I'm going to put on the wig and then my unicorn horn. And last but not least, the adorable little ears and horn. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and love the look. I know I do. Make sure you watch my next video, which is the unicorn costume video that goes along with this makeup look to find out where I got everything. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.